Hi, this is Evan from Within Hiking Distance, and I'm going to talk about our top five hikes in Colorado National Monument. Plus, I'll mention a few other roadside attractions if you're driving through. Colorado National Monument is located in western Colorado, not too far from the Utah border. Fruta and Grand Junction are two cities located close to the National Monument. Colorado National Monument covers 32 square miles and has some amazing views, family-friendly hikes, and opportunity to spot some wildlife. Kicking off our top five hikes, starting with number five, Otto's Trail. Otto's Trail is located off of Rimrock Drive and is one mile round trip with an elevation gain of 263 feet. The trail descends gradually to a cliff overlooking Monument Canyon. There are great views of Independence Monument, which is the largest freestanding rock formation in the canyon. We really enjoyed the views at the end of this trail. Coming in at number 4 is the Coke Ovens Trail. This is an easy one mile trail round trip that descends 160 feet to an overlook. From the overlook there is an overhead view of some rock formations which are made through weathering and erosion. The trail gets its name because the rock formations resemble coke ovens which were used to convert coal into coke which was industrial fuel from the early 20th century. Once again the views at the end of this trail were amazing. Coming in at number 3, the Serpent's Trail. This trail is located near Grand Junction and is just inside the east entrance of Colorado National Monument. It is 3.5 miles round trip and has 770 feet of elevation gain. This trail has about 20 switchbacks and used to be an old road. It used to be called the crookedest road in the world. In 1961, the Serpent's Trail was converted from a road to a hiking trail, which has now become a local favorite. We hiked 1.9 miles up to the top of the trail. It intersects with the road. Now we're hiking back down. Number 2, the Canyon Rim Trail to Window Rock. This trail is 1.75 miles round trip and does not have much elevation gain. It's an easy trail with some great views of Colorado National Monument. You'll start at the Visitor Center and walk along the Canyon Rim. It's a great introduction to the monument. There are great views of Window Rock and the valley below at the end of the trail. There is also a parking lot next to Window Rock, which is only a quarter mile away if you choose not to start from the Visitor Center. And number one, the Lower Monument Canyon Loop via the Wedding Canyon Trail. This trail is 4.8 miles round trip with 800 feet of elevation gain. We hiked this trail in a counterclockwise direction. We took the Wedding Canyon Trail on the way in and the Monument Canyon Trail on the way back. The elevation gains steadily as you hike into the canyon. Right here, Claire. The freestanding rock formations grow larger as you approach them. Independence Monument stands 450 feet above the canyon floor. From Independence Monument you'll see the intersection for the Monument Canyon Trail. Take that back to the parking lot where you started. Be sure to check out some of the roadside attractions and overlooks as you drive through Colorado National Monument. Balanced Rock is made of sandstone and located in the west entrance of Colorado National Monument. Many of the other overlooks are just off to the side of the road, so get out and enjoy the great views. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to catch more of our family adventures. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. channel.